Is there any childhood memory as sweet as playing in the computer lab? I mean, nowadays a computer is a bit of a hellscape, but back then it was like candy for your developing brains. Amidst the wave of kid core fueled nostalgia, I've rediscovered this remake of Kid Picks. Is anything about this program usable, or am I just tripping on nostalgia? Let's find out. So I've loaded it up. If you want to check it out yourself, it's kidpix.app. It looks a little bit more low key than I remember. I mean, it does look kind of like MS Paint. You know, there's a bit of a lack of bevel and emboss, but, but I mean, oh. wacky pencil. Okay, I mean, I'll just, I'll just start drawing. You can see a little brush size up here and these patterns. We just, oh my God. <sighs> Is it so loud? And what did I just draw? I guess so. That's loud. Here's a small pencil. Okay, it's one pixel wide. Size 100, that's thick. And we've got patterns. Jeez, okay, I'm gonna turn on the volume. Ooh, that's interesting. It's got this, how do you pronounce that, Amar effect on it? There's so many choices. Imagine if Photoshop had these as default brushes. I would love that. Wait, what is this? Rainbow? Oh. <gasps> It's rainbow! Ah, Does it go all the way back? Yes, it does! I messed it up a little, but that's nice. What other functions do we have? A line. Ooh. And a select. No, it's a rectangle. Rectangle. And it's transparent! Circles. I love the sound this makes. <laughs> it's so cute. And this is a, a wacky brush. Whoa. Oh, this makes so many fun sounds. What is this? Whoa. What? This is crazy. Why don't we have these in Photoshop? Or, or MS Paint for that matter. Oh, there's hearts. Wait. Oh, they're card suits. Okay, I'm understanding the appeal of this to children. <laughs> it's the fun of just clicking things and seeing what happens. Is this color? That's not color. That's disappointing. They look kind of like flowers. See, this is what art is about. She's messing around and then finding things out. Whoa, you could totally make- Oh, that's what it's for. You can make connect the dots. Wait, this could actually be useful. I mean, I've just made a big mess, but whoa. All right, how do we clear this? Is there a clear button anywhere? Electric mixer. Okay, maybe it's like a blend tool. Whoa, no, it's whoa. It's not just changing the saturation because all the values are converging. Why are different settings? What, what does this do? Whoa. Oops, is there an undo? Um, control Z. Okay, what about you? Whoa. <gasps> that made a fun noise. Okay, I've totally messed this up. What is going on? What does this do? Oh, it's like a it's like a swirly liquify tool. Whoa! I know I said in the intro. Wonder if this will still be useful. I am just having fun. I am having a lot of fun. What does this do? What does it say? Wrap around. I think I messed it up too much, so it's not doing anything. What? Okay. All right. So maybe the paint can will clear. That's it. That's a gross noise. Oh, Jesus. Okay, maybe not. A razor. Why is it pink? Oh, like a real eraser. Can I change the size? Firecracker. Holy s- Oh, God. Oh, that worked. There's a text tool. I guess we can type some text if we want to try making a graphic. Oh, you can't type. Oh, you're just stamping them. What? Ah, uh, that's not very practical for modern design purposes, but I mean, if you're, if you're a kid, then it's fine. That's a clone stamp? It's- Oh, what? It's not a clone stamp. It's like a- it's like a little symbol stamp. Whoa! And what is this truck? Moving van. What? O okay. And what is this screaming button? The undo guy. Oh, all right. Can you redo? If I undo? If I press Control shift z No, you can't. Control y No. So there's no redo. And then here's the color palette. Whoa, there's a lot of colors. This is somehow both more and less weird than I remember. I think the UI is a little deceptive. Let's do the firecracker. Well, maybe there's a little more subtle way to it. Is the firecracker the only way to erase the whole thing? What is this, a swear button? What? Okay, well, that works. I see, so there, there are different fun ways to erase things because that's a useful feature. I don't even know where to start. Let's make a pattern. Oh, that, that's trippy. I don't know if I like that pattern. Try this one. It's not bad. It gets a start. And then we'll add a circle on top. Whoa. What if we make it colored? Can we make colored circles? Yes, we can. And then let's add this wacky brush. 
I don't know what that is, but I'm going with it. All right, <laughs> it's a little chaotic now. When you're working with these kinds of tools, it's very hard for it to not trend towards chaos. Oh no! Let's, <laughs> let's undo something. Oh no! Oh, we can only undo one thing. Oh no! It only remembers one thing. Oh no! Just like that guy said. Uh, that's bad. All right, now we have to cover this up. So I could try blanking it or adding a different pack. Oh God, no! What, what do you do? Texture question mark. Let's have a little stripe here, and then we'll just. I, I don't. God, that looks terrible. Can we nuke it? Can we explode it? Let's just try a different explode. Slip sliding away. What's that? What do you mean, wow? What the hell is that? So this isn't that different from that one time I was doing a graphic on only one layer, right? It's pretty much the same sort of tools, just weirder. I can work oh, with no. that. There. And then this part can be white. Golden rule of thirds. And then we'll add a pattern on the pink to balance it out. What goes with pink? Eh? Oh no! Maybe we need something else. Maybe we need whatever this is. Hmm. We'll just keep trying things until we find something that's vaguely coherent. What about you? What does this do? What? Oh, no. oh crap, I did two, but now I can't undo. Oh, no. Happy accidents, happy accidents. Okay, see, that's kind of cute. We'll ignore the broccoli tree. Ta-da. Oh, no. Okay, well, there's potential here, so we're just gonna try different things until it works. Until something good happens. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Whoa. Uh-oh. Um... Uh, there. I'm finding that trying to make something in particular with this program is a lot less fun than just messing around and trying different things. And it also doesn't look as good. Maybe that's what the purpose of this program is. It's just to just let go and have fun a little with the art and not worry about the outcome. This looks like a really bad picnic table. If I try to just let loose and go with it and not worry about what comes out, maybe I'll have this. Whoa, lines. I'm doing the squigglies. Hello. Let's, let's draw with this pattern. That's a fun noise. It's it's giving it's giving 90s paper cup design. Wee! Holy smokes! That's that's interesting, I guess. Oh oh no. Pancakes. Oh god. Wasn't there like a stamp thing? Okay, let's make some let's make some what is, what does this do? Next stamp. There's more? Oh my god, there's more. Oh my god, there's a penguin. Whoa, penguins. Oh, there's sand. Almost, almost. Ah, I made a dolphin. Oh, there's crabs. Design principles are gone. A. A. B. C. I guess if you're learning the alphabet, this is probably helpful. I don't even know where my cursor is. There's just so much stuff on screen right now. You can't click and drag, so I'm just gonna have to manually scream. What is going on? What am I doing? <laughs> I, you know what, I... Okay, I'm telling myself to let go and have some fun with it. But the inner professional designer is saying, no, you have to make something congruent. And I'm trying very, very hard to tell it to shut up. Um, can I, what, can I just twist it into oblivion, please? We put that in the MoMA. When in doubt, liquefy. This isn't making any noise. There's a little bit of peaceful calm here. Kids like loud, random noises, right? <laughs> kids have, kids seem to have zero sense of volume. Whoa. Stop, please. Oh my God. We're not clicking that one again. Oh, look, if we cover it, it'll all be okay. If we just cover it up and pretend it didn't happen. Some abstract circles. Whoa, so avant-garde. Add some of these wacky brushes. Whoa, look at the bubbles. I don't- I- I'm trying very hard to reinvigorate my inner child and I'm finding that it might be dead. Ooh, I like this pixel bird. That's a really cute sprite. Do birds fly in triangle formations? I like the animal sprites. Let's have more of those. Egg. If you just turn your brain off, this is quite fun. You could build a little city. Look, there's a station. This place is under construction. Oh, you can click and drag them. Oh no, oh no, it's in the game mess. All right. See, that's fun. What does this one do? Oh, it's dripping. I let go and they're still dripping. That's cool. Ta-da, it's a work of art. <laughs> Shall we blow it up? I don't want to blow it up because I like what I made, even though it looks objectively like a disaster piece. But there's cute stamps and colors and patterns. <laughs> I mean, this is fun. I feel like as a designer, I always have the urge of, you know, how do I make this a marketable product? And how do I how do I communicate the, the brand message or whatever? But, you know, 
we all get into this because we like art. Sometimes you just gotta try and reconnect to that a little, I guess. Easier said than done. I'm gonna make a little heart. Yay.